Hi YouTubers, I'm going to just do a short video on how to overcome the SodaStream anti-refill device um, in the valve. So I'll do this quite quickly. I have done a longer one which I'll post to YouTube for those that want a longer version. But what happens is when you've got the new style valve on your cylinder and you're trying to refill it, this is a new style valve. I'll show you an old style valve. If you've got an old style, style valve, no problems at all. With the new style, you have a lot of trouble filling it. Um, so what I've done is come up with a way to overcome that. What they have in them is really a two-way valve. So when you're trying to push CO2 back in from the outside, the valve snaps shut at the bottom. So what I've done is created a small interference pin that gets in underneath this valve and holds it just up ever so slightly. So here's one I prepared earlier. Um, so you know what I'm using. I'm actually just using the shank off some aluminium rivets that's 4.8 millimetres in diameter, I think. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the shank is, I think it's actually more like 2.9, but they're just the standard rivets you can buy at any hardware store. <coughs> Here's the disassembled valve. Um, this is the valve body, uh, this is the burst valve, and this is the plug that holds the burst valve in. So to overcome it, all I did was manufacture this 9mm long piece of rivet. Um, you can use an old piece of drill, anything like that. And then I put it in this hole here, and it's not an airtight fit. Make sure you don't ever have an airtight fit because the burst valve is there to let out pressure. You could create a really dangerous situation. Then you place the burst valve in with the bubble side out and then you, you bolt that on um, and tighten that up. And this one here has been overcome. So to refill it, all you now do is screw it on to the cylinder. And because it's already been done, this one, we can then turn it on and if it's getting cold here gas is flowing and we're all good all right thank you for watching